This video is not going to tell you to buy a filter that I've already decided ahead of time. There is no best filter that you can skip to at the end of the video because various different filters are available that are going to accomplish different things. After you learn about all of them, you'll be able to decide for yourself which one is best for you. So let's get into it. I'm not going to do much more than mention the standard base level cabin filter. These are much better than nothing and do the basics that you've heard cabin filters do. This tends to be where the widest quality spectrum lies based on the size of the particles that each brand lets in, but we're not going to do a brand comparison today, so let's get out of the next style. Activated carbon filters are a relatively easy to find upgrade over basic filters and is your best option for dealing with odors. The actual activated carbon material is processed to have tiny pores that dramatically increase the surface area. Dispersed in a filter like this, it is ready to catch and bond to odorous gases like volatile organic compounds, which no other filter we're talking about today is able to do. The activated carbon is a dark charcoal or graphic color, so these filters look dirty fresh out of the box, and a quality filter will be darker than a cheap one, also making it more effective against odors. Activated carbon doesn't filter out basic dirt and pollen particles, so the rest of the filter will be doing that job, and its effectiveness may vary from brand to brand. If you have a commute past a sewer treatment plant or active landfill, this kind of filter may make your commute a little more pleasant without having to switch to recirculated air. It will also be important to note that since the carbon is grabbing onto odor molecules and not releasing them, the effectiveness of the filter to remove odors will fade over time. Baking soda filters are an uncommon option, with Fram being the only manufacturer I could find that makes them. However, it also uses carbon to eliminate odors, which may be doing the bulk of the work. I'm torn between it being a gimmick licensing deal to put a second familiar brand on the box and a legitimate way to eliminate odors that Charcoal may have missed. Have you used one of these filters before? Let anyone know in the comments if it was good or not. HEPA filters are meant to trap the smallest particles of all the filters available. HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air, a particularly effective air filter. In order for that to not just be a label on nearly every product like premium tends to be, you'll need to check for an independent certification or at least a claim based on the standardized test. The rating a filter will get will be measured in how efficient the filter is at trapping particles of a certain size. Two brands I came across have an advertised rating of 99.97% at 0.3 microns. For some size context with that, bacteria, which you need a microscope to look at, are typically 1 to 10 microns. Not much is getting through these filters. That, however, can become a problem when it comes to pushing air through. These incredibly effective filters will have a noticeable impact on airflow coming out of your vents, so if your car already has weak airflow, you probably don't want to get a HEPA filter. Reusable filters are new to cabin filters, but have been used for engine air filters for a long time. While all other air filters are thrown away at the end of their service life, these filters can be cleaned out and used again. While this doesn't put an end to your cabin filter related expenses due to the cleaner spray required to keep it fresh, it may have some long term cost savings and definitely reduces how many filters you end up throwing away. The downsides to these filters is that they can't have activated carbon in them and you have to wait for the filter to dry naturally for about half an hour after cleaning it. One thing to note about any filter you buy is that they can only filter out the air that passes through them. If you open the door or window in a dusty environment, have smells originating from inside the car, or have the air on recirculate, the problem air isn't going to pass through the filter and will continue to carry those problems with it. All but the most basic cabin filters are going to be made in such a way that there are filtering steps, with the biggest materials being trapped first and the smallest being captured last. This means that there's an airflow direction to them, and installing them facing the wrong way will result in a shorter effective lifespan. If you'd like to know how to install a filter in the correct direction, I have a video that will show you. Thanks for watching Car Simplified.